Welcome to step number four of Enable Training and Consulting's Seven Steps to FRC Robot Success Videos. In step four, we're going to learn how to add a new digital input and integrate it into our code. First, we need to initialize the digital input. From the robot main VI, we'll open the begin VI. We'll open the block diagram and select WPI Robotics Library from the functions palette. We'll select I.O then Digital Input, and drag a Digital Input Open VI and the Digital Input Registry Set VI onto the block diagram. Now, we'll add a string constant to be used to name the Digital Input Reference by selecting Program, then String, and then dragging the string constant onto the block diagram. We'll type digital input and then wire the constant into the refnum name terminal on the digital input registry set VI. Next, we'll right click on the DIO channel terminal on the digital input open VI and select create and constant to select which digital channel to use. We'll leave this value as DIO1. Finally, we need to wire the digital input reference from the digital input open VI to the digital input registry set VI to define the reference which gets saved with the name digital input. We'll also wire the error cluster between the two functions. This completes the initialization of the digital input. Next, we need to configure the digital input reference to close when we're done with it. We'll start by going back to the robot main VI, to the case structure, and switching to the finish case. We'll open the finish VI and then switch to the block diagram. Here we're going to add a digital input reference get VI and a digital input close VI to the block diagram. These are found in the same sub palette as before. Now we'll create a string constant type digital input and wire this to the refnum name input of the digital input reference get VI to name the reference that we created in the begin VI. The string constant is found under programming and then string. Finally, We'll wire the digital input reference from the digital input reference get VI into the digital input close VI to tell the VI which reference to close. This completes the reference close. Now that we've added the necessary changes to the begin and finish VI so that the limit switch will be initialized and work correctly, the last thing we need to do is configure the digital input channel to read the limit switch. To do this, we need to go to the teleop VI. So we'll go back to the robot main VI. In the case structure, select the Teleop enabled case and double click the Teleop VI to open it. Now we'll switch to the block diagram. In this VI, the digital input from the limit switch will replace the button 1 input from the joystick. Therefore, we're going to remove button 1 from the code by selecting the unbundle by name function. and pressing delete. We can clean up the broken wires by pressing control B. Now, we'll add a digital input reference get VI to determine which reference to read from. And a digital input get VI to read the value on the channel. These VIs are found in the same sub palette as before. Next, we'll create a string constant type digital input and wire this to the refnum name input of the digital input reference get VI 
to name the reference that we created before. Next, we'll wire the digital input reference from the digital input reference getVI into the digital input getVI to tell the VI which channel to read. We can then wire the output from the digital input getVI into the case structure input. Now we just have to check the logic of this. We'll move the function palette to get a better look. If the limit switch is closed, the value passed to our case select structure will be false, so the motor should not turn. This means that in the case structure, a value of zero should be sent to the motors. Right now, it's reversed, with the false case keeping the current motor speed and the true case returning a value of zero. So to fix this, we have to switch the cases around. We do this by right-clicking on the case structure and selecting Make this case false. This will make the true case false and give the desired result, stopping the motors when the limit switch is closed. This completes the configuration of the limit switch. In Step 4 of our 7 steps to FRC robot success, we added a new digital input to our robot project. We then modified the Teleop VI to use the digital input as a limit switch and stop the drive motors whenever the switch was closed.